In the evolving landscape of modern ground warfare, where peer adversaries deploy heavily armored vehicles, advanced anti-tank systems, and swarms of low-flying drones, the U.S. Army faces a pressing need to evolve its mechanized forces. For more than four decades, the M2 Bradley Fighting Vehicle has served as the cornerstone of armored brigade combat teams, transporting infantry into battle while delivering direct fire support through its reliable 25mm M242 Bushmaster chain gun. That weapon has performed admirably in operations ranging from the deserts of Iraq to counterinsurgency fights, offering precision against light armor, infantry positions, and soft targets at ranges typically out to around 2 kilometers. But the battlefield has shifted dramatically. Near-peer competitors field infantry fighting vehicles with superior armor protection, longer effective weapon ranges, and integrated active protection systems designed to defeat incoming projectiles. Unmanned aerial systems now saturate the skies, providing reconnaissance and strike capabilities at low cost. Anti-tank guided missiles allow enemies to engage from standoff distances that outrange the Bradley's main armament. The 25mm cannon, while accurate and fast-firing, reaches its limits against modern armored threats at extended ranges and lacks the explosive payload or fragmentation effects needed to neutralize dispersed infantry or aerial drones efficiently. The Army concluded that incremental improvements to the Bradley, additional armor, new optics, or minor upgrades would not deliver the decisive edge required for high-intensity conflict against capable opponents. A fundamental redesign was necessary, one that restores overmatch in lethality, survivability, and mobility while addressing the realities of contested logistics and multi-domain operations. This brings us to the XM913 50mm Bushmaster chain gun, developed by Northrop Grumman as an evolution of the proven Bushmaster family that includes the 25mm M242 and the 35mm Bushmaster III already in service with several NATO allies. The XM913 fires the larger 50 by 228 mm cartridge, a super shot round that significantly increases kinetic energy, explosive mass, and overall destructive potential per projectile. Key design features set the XM913 apart. It incorporates a dual feed system, enabling the crew or automated fire control to switch instantly between ammunition types without manual intervention. One feed can carry armor-piercing, fin-stabilized, discarding sabo rounds optimized for penetrating modern infantry fighting vehicle armor at extended distances. The other can load programmable high-explosive air-bursting munitions that detonate at precise points in space, creating lethal fragmentation patterns effective against personnel in the open, behind light cover, or even low-flying drones. The cannon maintains the external chain drive mechanism characteristic of the Bushmaster line, providing a controlled firing cycle for reliability during sustained fire and while the vehicle is in motion. Rate of fire remains adjustable, balancing volume against precision depending on the threat. Weight of the complete system, including receiver, feeder, barrel, and muzzle brake, is reported around 314 kilograms, suitable for integration into unmanned turrets on next-generation platforms. Compared directly to the Bradley's 25mm, the XM913 roughly doubles effective engagement range, pushing beyond 4 kilometers for many target sets, while delivering substantially greater terminal effects. A single 50mm round carries far more kinetic energy and explosive mass, meaning fewer shots are required to achieve a kill, which preserves ammunition in prolonged engagements where resupply may be contested. The XM913 does not exist in isolation. It serves as the designated primary armament for the XM30 Mechanized Infantry Combat Vehicle Program, the Army's long-term replacement for the Broadly. Previously known as the optionally manned fighting vehicle, the XM30 underwent a reset in acquisition strategy around 2020 to emphasize flexibility, open architecture, and realistic requirements. 
by June 2023, the Army down selected to two competing teams, General Dynamics Land Systems with its Griffin 3 based design and American Rheinmetall vehicles with an adapted Lynx platform. Both designs feature unmanned turrets housing the XM913, allowing the two-person crew to remain protected within the hull while directing fire through advanced sensors and displays. The XM30 incorporates hybrid electric propulsion for improved fuel efficiency, silent watch capability, and exportable power to support onboard systems or future directed energy weapons. Modular armor packages enable rapid reconfiguration for different threat environments, and the vehicle is designed from the ground up for integration with the Army's digital architecture, including compatibility with next-generation networks for situational awareness and targeting data sharing. In January 2026, Northrop Grumman confirmed that the U.S. Army had ordered a total of 16 XM913 cannons to support the ongoing XM30 prototyping and testing phase. Deliveries to the Combat Capabilities Development Command have already begun. These serve as government-furnished equipment, provided directly to the two prime contractors for integration into their prototype vehicles. This move underscores the Army's commitment to the 50mm caliber as the baseline for restoring lethality across armored brigade combat teams. The implications for how the U.S. Army fights are profound. In high-intensity scenarios against near-peer forces, infantry fighting vehicles must engage enemy armor, suppress infantry, and counter aerial threats at ranges that keep friendly platforms outside the enemy's effective kill zones. The XM913 enables shoot-first, shoot-farther tactics, allowing XM30 crews to neutralize threats before they can close or employ their own standoff weapons. Against dismounted infantry or light vehicles, air-bursting programmable rounds create devastating overhead effects, negating cover that might protect adversaries from direct line-of-sight fire. For the growing drone threat, the combination of high rate of fire, precision tracking from advanced fire control, and airburst capability offers a kinetic countermeasure far more economical than dedicated missile systems for low-end unmanned aerial vehicles. The larger caliber does introduce trade-offs. Ammunition volume per vehicle is likely lower than on the Bradley, due to the bigger rounds, but each carries greater individual effect, shifting emphasis towards quality of engagement over sheer quantity. Training pipelines benefit from commonality. Soldiers familiar with the 25mm Bushmaster transition more readily to the XM913, minimizing the learning curve while logistics chains leverage existing Bushmaster family support structures. This weapon system aligns with the Army's broader multi-domain operations concept, achieve decision dominance by seeing first, deciding faster, and acting decisively. The XM-30, powered by the XM-913, positions infantry squads to maneuver aggressively under protective fire, penetrate layered defenses, and hold ground against counterattacks. As of mid-January 2026, the program remains on track. Prototype construction continues with full system integration activities progressing through early 2026 and initial vehicle rollouts anticipated later in the year. Testing will extend into 2027, leading toward a down-select decision and low-rate initial production potentially in late 2027 or 2028. Fielding to operational units could begin in the early 2030s, though historical acquisition timelines suggest flexibility may be required. Challenges persist. Integration of the cannon with sensors, protection suites, and propulsion systems demands rigorous validation to ensure reliability under combat conditions. Cost control remains critical, as does managing supply chain risks for advanced components. Yet the deliberate pace reflects lessons from past programs, prioritize lethality and survivability while building a platform with growth margin for future technologies. The XM913 represents more than an incremental caliber increase. It embodies a strategic choice to equip ground forces with the firepower needed to prevail in contested environments against adversaries who have spent decades closing the gap with American armored capabilities. 
When fielded on the XM-30, this 50mm chain gun could fundamentally reshape infantry combat, restoring the overmatch that allows American soldiers to close and destroy the enemy on their terms. The pursuit of this capability demonstrates the Army's commitment to staying ahead in an era of rapid technological and tactical change. Ground warfare remains decisive, and platforms like the XM-30 with the XM-913 ensure that American mechanized forces enter the next fight prepared to win. Thank you for listening to this in-depth examination. If you value detailed analysis of emerging military systems, consider subscribing for future updates on modernization efforts across the joint force. Share your thoughts in the comments. What potential do you see in the shift to 50mm firepower for the Army's armored formations?